Souza cannot cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Gardner will score. A-Rod's at second. He has an RBI double. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. I can't imagine there are many people in this club who have taken this harder than D. Gordon has, Dave. Some of the pictures we saw from yesterday. Yep. And he hits a high fly ball. This is deep to right field. He has homered for Jose. Circles the bases. And now gets the home plate. His very first home run of this season. And he is overcome by emotion again. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it. Hit the left field deep. Way back. Ruined. Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the National League Championship Series between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Harold Reynolds and Dan Fleszak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Now live as we count down to the start of game one let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci and now your New York Mets Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Danny, any thoughts? Well, I think opposing pitchers need to be really careful when working to Adam Lynn. He's one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. Jacob DeGrom will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. What do we need to know here HR. Well Matt his last outing was really dominant stuff double digit strikeout. He dominated the hitters. He kept his team in the game. He did everything you want a great pitcher to do. I'm looking for that type of performance again today. All right time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher Travis Jarno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Here's a blooper out toward left center. In there, a base hit. He's around first, heading for two. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now, that is the way you want to start a game on the in road. The he comes out swinging and stands at second fielder. as the Number first two. base runner of the night. Adam now we'll Ethan. see if his teammates can pick him up and if they can punch first.
sent on the ground out to second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Well, when you've got a guy with speed like that, he's going from second to home on a base hit just about every time. The top speed here on show track is about as fast as you'll ever see. And he ended up making that play not even close. get down for a base hit so the first three batters of the ball game hit safely against him here and he's going to need to turn things around in a hurry before things get out of hand Bryce Harper stepping up now Bryce Harper he'll get to take his first cuts here set and the 2 1 pitch and this one's tapped foul at home plate none out runners at first and second this is on the ground over to first Reyes on to first and that takes care of Harper as well it's a double play oh that double play gave him a really good chance to minimize the damage here one run has come across but now he just has to work to strand that runner at third would be pretty huge if he can do that In now is Anthony Rendon in previous duels with DeGrom. Three base hits in 16 tries. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Only one in the inning for the Nationals. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Nationals lead it one to nothing. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Harold, what's the key for them against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. Max Scherzer will do the pitching on the road here in game one of the LCS. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, what I like about him is he knows how to pitch. He gives his team a chance to win every time. Last outing was a perfect example. He gave up two runs, and he still stuck around long enough to get the W. He's going to keep him in the game. I look for that type of performance in this game as well. All right, here's how the Nats line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at the catcher, Matt Weeters. Biggest compliment I ever heard from Matt Weeters, nobody catches a throw from the outfield and tags a runner better than him. He'll take a shot, too. He also calls a pretty good game. Settling in now, Jose Reyes. And he'll lead things off against Max Scherzer. Swing and a line drive. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Super play right there from the shortstop. Talk about showing off those hops. This was destined to be a base hit into the outfield. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Bases are empty, one man out. On the ground to the right side. And that will find its way into right field for a one-out single. Step 
stepping in, Michael Conforto. Past battles with Scherzer, just a two for 14 line to show for it. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Hit hard on the ground to second, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Another hit in the inning, the second runner on base. Now, look, you have to get to this guy early before he settles in and executes all his pitches. This could be the main inning of the game right here. In now, Joanna Cespedes. In there, three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove it one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. And he misses with that one. Ball four. And that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. I'll tell you, he's that looked unsteady out there since Very the first pitch he threw. Hey, a man. couple of hits and a free All pass, right. so he's really searching for an answer to get back on track. We'll see if he can settle down here. So coming to the plate, David Wright, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. And all three runners on the move here. And the squeeze is on here, and he gets it down. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. Something you don't see all that often anymore as the runner was breaking from third. The perfect suicide squeeze gets him a run. Looking to minimize the damage here. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. And that retires the side. The Mets played a run on a couple of hits. On now to the top half of inning number two. All tied at one and one. Here's Adam Lind. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Conforto is there. One away. Batting seven. Left fielder. Jason Worth. So one away here with the bases empty. And here's the left fielder, Jason Worth. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Grounded to third. Wright has it. On the first and Worth is set down. There are two away. And with two away, let's check out our playoff bracket as we give you a look at how these two teams advanced out of the divisional round to meet here for the league championship. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters, now. In previous duels with the Grom, two for nine. He's taken him deep once. One and two, here it comes. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom of the second. All tied at one and one. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 
He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The one and two pitch. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And the pitch. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And this gets by Lynn down the line. It's a fair ball. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Here's Juan Ligares. Set. Here's the 2 2. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know, Jansen's a guy that's not worried about all the metrics. He's going to call his zone. And if you're pounding the ball in one spot, he's going to call it, particularly off the plate. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Line drive to left. In to cut it off is worth. It's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second here. Enter Jacob DeGrom. Standing in now, Jacob DeGrom. Now a bunt attempt here. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. A shortstop, number seven, Jose Reyes. Riding in once again, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Reyes awaiting the 3 1. A high fastball is in there. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. Turner has it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. So Even though it wasn't 13, a base hit, it I does bring the go-ahead run for his team. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Osdrubal Cabrera. From the belt, the pitch. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. That's what makes this guy so great. A pitch right on the corner. Most people cannot do that. Seems like he does it any time he sits back there and says, here's where I want to put it, and he puts it there. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. Uh, ran that one in on him a bit as this time it's tapped foul at home plate. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Well, a pitcher can tell you a lot early in the game. With this veteran pitcher out here, fastball in. To me, it looks like he's going to try to take that inside half and say, that is mine. All even at two and two. Here it is. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. At the plate, Max Scherzer. 
nine one and two do up. From the windup, the one one pitch. Hit out towards second. Cabrera's up with it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The batter, number seven, shortstop, Ray Turner. Ready for another chance? Trey Turner. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Center fielder, number two, Adam Eaton. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Adam Eaton. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Nationals gone in order. Our score remains 2 to 1. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Hit hard, but right into the shift. Murphy's got it, one away. The left fielder number 52, Yoannis Cespede. Digging in to try it again, Yoannis Cespedes. He drew a base on balls his first time up. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air to center. After it is eaten, he gets there, and that's the second out. Baseman number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. This is a big out for his confidence. Look, he struggled early. He's got two outs right now. He needs this next out, and then he's got a quick one, two, three inning. It just makes you feel so much better and more confident as you move through the rest of the game. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. They lead it two to one. Here's Daniel Murphy now as we begin the top of the fourth. Go home, Nat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Taken there by Cabrera. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle, and he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Here's Bryce Harper now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ballgame. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Flores is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. In now is Anthony Rendon. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Skied into straightaway right. Conforto waits on it. And that's the third out. Fair to say. Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Standing in, Wilmer Flores. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Eaton racing back at the track. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with Show Track. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. Into the box now, Travis Darno. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Oh, he's looking pretty good right now. Look, that was a nice swing following the changeup. He just couldn't put it in play. Full count now. Three and two. Juan Ligares, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Hey, that was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Into the box now, Juan Ligares, a base hit in his first trip. Eight. Two and two now. Now, Matt, this is the tough part of being the eight hitter. That falls right down the middle. So it makes me wonder, is he trying to give his pitcher a breather? Or is he just not being aggressive? With the pitcher hitting behind you, you get a ball groove, you got to take a big hat. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. On to Lind, but it's not in time, and they'll just settle for one. Now batting the pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. Digging in for his second at bat, Jacob DeGrom. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. Scherzer comes set. Here's the pitch. Nope. And a fastball just a bit high. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. And the pitch on two and one. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. He's set. Here's the two two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Sent on the ground out to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. When we return, we'll see Adam Lind lead things off. We played four full. Mets out in front, two to one. Here's Adam Lind. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. 
Ready with the 1 1 now to Lind. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. He pulls this one into right and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. That's a strong hitter right there. Slider in on his hands, and he still is able to muscle it out far Jason enough for a base hit. Digging in, Jason Worth comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hits are now even at four apiece. Sliced hard on the ground. And Worth is going to reach. That's a base hit. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, the good ones have that That's bat it. control. You see right there, he had a hole in the right side. First base was holding. Second base was playing double play depth. And he shot it right through there on the right side for the hit. Nice job. Into the box, Matt Weeders. No contact there, and it's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now batting the pitcher Max Scherzer. Striding into the box Max Scherzer as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. One and one here it comes. Now a bunt attempt here. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now batting, Georgia, Gray Turner. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Set to deal on two and two. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. That's leave a pair. They're down 2-1. Digging in once again, Jose Reyes. 0 for 2 with a run batted in for him thus far. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And a changeup right down the middle. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Gotta wonder what he was looking for. Here's the pitch on two and two. He fouls it straight back, and whoa, that almost landed in our booth. Now another two two. This is sent on the ground now for the first baseman Lind and he'll step on first for the out three unassisted the batter number 13 second baseman as dribble Cabrera here now is his dribble Cabrera a hit in two tries so far fifth inning two to one our score. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Yeah. 
And he lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3 2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch, but that one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here's the three and two. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. The payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Mets two and the Nats one. In now is Adam Eaton. One for two on his line so far in the game. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. There to take it is Cespedes one away. Now batting, second baseman, Daniel Murphy. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He's one for two in the ball game. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. That was a good job tying right him up inside on that strikeout pitch. Right. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Stepping in now, Bryce Harper. Over for a look here is Cespedes, but he won't have a play. It's a foul ball. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Again, he sends it out of play. Another full count pitch home. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Ligaris. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. They still trail it here, two to one. the left fielder Ioannis Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup ready with the payoff pitch. And he goes the other way but he got a lot of it deep down the line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. This is line to left. Worth is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. In now, David Wright. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Fastball and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Hey. 
And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. Full count, here it comes. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Eaton is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. First baseman, number four, Wilmer Flores. Digging in once again, Wilmer Flores. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll try to entice him with the change up here, but it dips below the knees. It's two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. They still lead it two to one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Seventh inning coming up now in game one as we take a look here at our game summary through the first six innings so far. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Anthony Rendon. And guys, seventh inning already? Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. And this is going to be a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Conforto moves over. One away. Up next for the National, first baseman, Adam Lynn. Riding in once again, Adam Lind. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And now pitch on the way. And this will be fouled away. Here's the 2-2 home to Lind. And another foul ball. Here's another 2-2. On the ground up the middle. Cabrera towards second. He's got it. On to first here as Lind is set down now two away. Now batting. Left fielder. Jason Worth. Here's Jason Worth. A hit in two tries so far. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Nationals gone in order. Our score remains 2 to 1. And here comes Dusty out toward home plate as it looks like we're going to see a double switch here. Joe Your Nathan is in out of the bullpen the now as he'll be inserted Washington. into the number six spot following the double spot. switch. Number Ryan Zimmerman will also Joe come on now as he'll Nathan. move into the pitcher's number like nine hold in the order nine here nine on that double number switch. Number Ryan Here's the Zimmerman. catcher, Travis Darno. It was a walk in his last trip.
pitch on the way. And he struck him out. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Into the box now, Juan Ligares lays off the slider that time, two and one. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. Popped up. Zimmerman is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting, catcher, Jacob DeGrom. Brandon Nimmo will get the call here because he'll hit for the pitcher. Number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Swing and a line drive. But this is going to get foul. Nathan has the target looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes rounded down the third baseline and the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. What a great swing that ball got back as far as he could and shot it right past the third baseman. Now the third baseman wasn't playing on the line he's off the line a little bit but I still like the execution of the swing. Ready once again Jose Reyes lifetime against this pitcher batting 500 four for eight he also has one home run he's set here comes the one one breaking ball taken right down the middle well with both starters out now and we got a really good game here it's clearly a bullpen game but this is why it's so important to have that depth in your pen because you're going to run into a lot of games like this. Ready with the one and two. And a neck high fastball that time. Two out with the man at first. Three and two now. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Met strand one. As they're unable to add to their two to one lead. A.J. Ramos has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start Number the eight. A.J. Ramos. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now the 0 2 pitch fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Wow that's awfully impressive right there the pitch before was really close called the ball what does he do he comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Into the box Ryan Zimmerman. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Hits are even right now at five aside. Misses ball two.
Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Ball three, the nine hitter. He's got to know he's going to come after him and throw him a strike. He does not want to walk the nine hitter with the leadoff guy sitting on deck and the chance to get this inning going for him. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two oh, men he faces seven. out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lagares is under it, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. They're down 2-1. Wait, Trinan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 45, Blake Trinan. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He enters this at bat one for two with a walk. And he misses two and one. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. And a tough take on an inside sinker that just missed for ball three. Well, that's ball three, and the Mets right now would take a leadoff guy on any way they could get it. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, wondering if he hit him on purpose. But hey, us pitchers need to be able to throw inside, especially when facing hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Don't want to forget about it. Standing in now, Joanna Cespedes. And this is fouled back and out of play. First and second here with nobody out. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities and when they've had them like right now it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Ready for another shot now. David Wright has got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. Shot fouled over towards the coaching box. Runners are at first and second with one away. Spin and a throw back to second, and they'll slap the tag on him here in the rundown between second and third. The 2 2 now to right. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And this is knocked down over there. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. So they pick up no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on. We're on to the ninth here in game one. It's the Mets two and the Nats one. Now beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. 
Jerry Spamilia comes on now from the pen, from hoping to finish this one off Number here in the top of the ninth. Jerry Spamilia. In now is Adam Eaton. He'll lead it off against Jerry Spamilia, who will try to close the door in this one. Here comes the payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. Lagares is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, second baseman, Daniel Murphy. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Lifetime against Familia. A handful of plate appearances, and he's gone four for six. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The right fielder, number 34, Bryce Harper. Now with the plate, Bryce Harper. He flew out in his last at-bat. A sold-out crowd of 41,800 get to their feet now in Flushing. Washington, good night. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. one tonight two to one the final score the New York Mets jump out to a one nothing series lead Max Scherzer is tagged with the loss despite giving up only two unearned runs so that's a wrap here tonight from my partners in the booth Harold Reynolds and Dan Blazak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB Network good night everybody Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Two runs on five hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Nationals. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan. Schimpf and his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7 to 4. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall.